Bori Blake breaking the record now. 30.21 wow. ducats from wow. gold. But That's impressive. I can't even contemplate <laughs> what the strategy is going to be here. And here we go. He's heading south. He sees Rome. Oh and look God. at that army that's just showed up to face Flory. They're charging in. Oh, is this the end? We were this close to great. Oh, look wow. at that. A huge swathe of land. We can, beyond a shadow of a doubt, say that that one goes to Flurry. Get 50% off on EU4's Modern Ostrom expansion from now until April 22nd using the links found in the description. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Masters of Universalis Challenge and we have a new person in our wonderful Ooh. streaming studio. Who the, who the heck are you? We've had, we've been got so used to our established guests yeah, and so I don't know, who's this guy? Starnam, uh, <laughs> Daniel on uh, E4QA. We are into the semi-finals, we've made it through yes. the first round. So now our contenders are Benjamin Magnus and Torior. The first challenge that we're going to be running, as our contestants know, is going to be the Art of War Challenge. They have now locked in their countries. Benjamin has not gone for the traditional Ming pick. We have an Ashigara Shogunate. If you have five, four, three, two, one, begin. So Ming with Torior, obviously the the standard pick, yes. right? They've got a huge army. They've got a lot of neighbors that they can just plow their way through. They can through. snake into India. They can, yeah. Obviously, easy access there. If you just take a couple more provinces, they can get even more bordering nations. But the Ashigara, if he's just going to war with his tiny little vassals and then um, vassalizing them again at the end, he's almost immune to coalitions. Oh, but Torior. Releasing Torior countries. is releasing countries out of Ming, not with the normal release oh, subjects, but, but no, with the return province. So he's gonna, he's got a lot of subjects to release, Torior. Uh, there's plenty of targets to be had there. That's really interesting. Here's, uh, here's Benjamin's first war. He's immediately kicked it off. So obviously he's gonna have the support in his wars of all of his little subjects. So if he can just keep them loyal, he's gonna have, you know, a ridiculous vassal swarm to do all his sieging for him. And there's his second war as well. Ben has already won one. That is, uh, that is speedy. One zero. With, well, he's already got all these vassals that he can use and he hasn't re-vassalized the nation he was at war with. He just took a tiny bit off them. And mm. we're gonna get the battle here. Ooh, which, that's a bad ooh, fight. That's a bad fight for Ming. Toriel is getting he's driven back. Packing. Two wins already for Benjamin. He's plowing through. He actually took land oh, personally. Oh, he's, he's, getting he's getting destroyed crushed. in another battle. Peace out, my dude. What are you doing? You don't need to beat them. That looks like a pride oh. move to me. There it is. There Did it he win is. or lose? I think he won. Or he's going from the second war against Hexi. Okay, yep. Just take Should out another, another of those quick. tribes. Yep. Looks like he's going for that um, anti-clockwise spin we saw last so time. So we'll see or at next, this challenge. I guess. I would presume so. 3-2, evening out a little bit as Torior uh, hops up his aggression game there a little bit. There is another victory for Ben, putting him with a two-war lead now. So he looks like Ben's strategy is just he's cranking the speed and he's going for these true spray, or not true spray, but uh, subject declarations over and over again, minus never going above three. minus two stability. So he's not actually losing more than one, even though if we take a look at one of these declarations, normally to declare war on one of your subjects like this, it costs you freaking yeah. six stability. But by doing it while oh, remaining at I minus got two. Uh, got a war. Oh, and did he true break? I would assume so. It looks like... Yeah, uh, it, those truces could not have been No, up. doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Nope, they are allied oh, each other. That's, that's unlucky. unfortunate. That is unlucky. That's going to so slow down It's only going to be there. one point for him here. So Benjamin, obviously, much, much weaker financial situation, but he can take a lot of loans, and he can be pulling money out of these guys that he's beating. Obviously, he's trying not to. So far, we've seen him take extremely low-value peace offers just to keep those truces super, super short. And he's going once again against those poor Ainu in the northern island there. Looks like they're being made short work of. He will have been able to avoid a truce hit from... Um, at least declaring the war in the north because he's probably gone ahead and fabricated a claim. Yes, he has indeed. He's got some separatists in the south, which would be good for him, honestly, right? Because that's going to free up some more countries for him to potentially have as targets. This is a very powerful display. Ooh, he's facing... Win here. Mm. Catching up. 
See, oh yeah, oh, up to and four now. Up, oh. And now Ben is beginning to slow down because those nations that he's released, of course, they're all allying together and meaning that he's facing a significantly larger coalition. Oh, another win. So, good lord, I was only one war practically apart now. counting out Torior, but he is racking up the wins at a frightening pace. It's a five-seven right now. Oh, there we go. Another win. He's, oh, I can yeah. probably mark that Only one. Only one lead. I mean, let's uh, let's not get ahead yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Where's Ben's next war? It's uh, He's dangerously close to being oh, matched. There we go. There Another we go. Even. even Stevens. Well, one thing that's nice with Ming is that you don't have to fabricate any claims. Mm, very true. Makes it a lot easier to not lose that stability because of that wonderful established tributary. Did you miss a war? Yes, thank you. He's finished that one now. Got a win oh, here. Now they're even again. Staying so even. That is incredibly close. Benjamin one point lead just getting his one point league, but with two wars going on in his opponent, he's going to need to keep it up. He's going to need to keep it up. As we close in on the final third of this segment, it's going to be really, oh, there really we go. close. Even again, 10-10. There's 10, 10. one more. 10-10 ten, ten, with 10 minutes to go. It's another win against the Mori. Bringing him into his first two-point lead. Oh, no, sorry. He's evened it out. I missed. And he's uh, two more two, done on that end. Good Lord. Was. They just keep oh. coming and they don't stop coming. This is crazy. And oh, now we have uh, Torio in the lead Torio. for the first time, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. First time in the whole campaign so far, at least, sorry, this session, that we've seen Torio actually manage to take the lead there. Oh, a two-point lead almost. And oh. he's got an admin surplus. Break some truces, man. Oh, but there is there, Benjamin's. Oh, oh no, you? no, I'm <laughs> speak pitching that from you. Here, I'll put it Thank in. You. <laughs> Benjamin just managing to not allow the two-point lead from Torio, but with seven minutes and 50 seconds on the clock, they're still almost neck and neck. There was a win Oh, here. yes, there was indeed. Another win bringing Torio back into his narrow lead. It stands at 14-13, but I suspect it's going to get 15. evened out very soon. And indeed, there it goes. Nope, 15-14. 15-14 and another war ongoing. We will see. And already won. There it is. Leveled out. Dominant display from Benjamin. Powering through these wars at quite a freaking click. That is crazy. Benjamin now seems to have kicked into high gear. Something's clicked in his mind. He knows Four more minutes. he can't afford to dilly-dally around anymore. He's declaring a war a minute at this point. More. And still no loans. There's the win. Good lord. I think he's realized that the sieges at this point are basically unnecessary. He's just walking in, plopping himself down, getting oh, that blockade. No point here. And that's enough for him to go through it. Oh, good lord. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Ming, Korea, Ayutthaya, Kale, Ava, Pegu have all joined a coalition against Benjamin. This is what peaceful gaming looks like. That is. So and border gore. <laughs> <laughs> They're even. Dead even. Good lord. 17 points apiece. Ben looks like he's a little cowed by the coalition. His unbelievable war spree from but a moment ago is stopped. Meanwhile, Toriel, two wars at once. Okay, there's another war charging in. Fantastic. I would like And to there, look at that. Instant, instant victory. And I can very easily check. Yes, indeed. That was indeed a win there. Bringing him a point ahead with nope, one minute. even again. Oh, even again with a minute and 30 seconds to go. But Toriel has Toriel another win. Takes the lead. Toriel takes the lead with only a minute and 23 seconds to go. Can Benjamin pull it back? Or is it going to fall to the mandate holder's might in this challenge? Okay, there's another war. He doesn't know it, but he needs to get at least two more. Toriel not declaring seconds. another war. Only 50 seconds remaining. He's got in there. He's got one occupation. There He's should be truce some out. truces to break. There really should be. Toriel, is he just running out the final 40 seconds? It, it, it he doesn't like seem it. He's still maxed out on like he's going to be able to win another war. Stability. 30 seconds remaining. There's the win. Equal numbers with 30 seconds on the clock. Come on, Still one no more breaks. war. He could tr truce he break could. Anu. anyone. Just oh, it's anybody's game. What's he doing? He's getting him on the boat. <laughs> He's going towards Ainu. Ainu's the easy kill. No allies. He's only got 15 seconds. He's not going to beat them in 15 seconds. I think you have to get your rule book out. Declare. Declare. <laughs> oh my god, it's Where's so the rule close. Book? Get ready to pause. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Pause. Okay, okay, we have 
equal numbers. 19 <laughs> versus 19. Wow. That was an impressive display. My goodness me. You drew. What? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> we drew at nine at nineteen <laughs> wars each. We tied. We're gonna do five more minutes, and continue counting your wars from the current situation. Five, four, three, two, one. Unpause them. Okay, and we're back in, and uh, okay, five minutes to push it to the limit. Two I know. wars going on. Two oh, wars going yeah, you just one. one. There's a victory. Benjamin takes the first war, bringing him to 15. But he knows he can't stop. He knows Toriel is going to be pushing to get as many wars Three out wars. as possible. Toriel is in four, four wars. wars. This is outrageous. So what Benjamin got going is that he can't blockade them and instantly mm. peace out. Yeah, but Toriel, with that number, that target-rich environment, as you four. might say. And all that admin power. There he goes. He's finally on the boats. But that, that few second delay, it's going to be too long. Toriel with four wars coming through. Three minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. Five wars. Five I, How many wars does our UI support? This is outrageous. <laughs> this is outrageous. And Benjamin, bankruptcy looming no. <laughs> next month. Oh my goodness. He's got another war though, and it's got you know Six it's an easy wars. win. And there's the bankruptcy. Benjamin is bankrupt, but he's won oh, this war. That's that's one There's point. one, and there's gonna be another one yeah. very shortly. And there's one for Benjamin. Good lord. Bringing Benjamin back into his one point lead, drawing again on twenty-one wars apiece. Oh my god. He's got that bankruptcy though. Oh no, I forgot, of course. It's all over. What? He can't declare wars. Oh. <laughs> He's bankrupt, so he can't he declare can hope wars. He can for someone to declare war on him. He can't get out of the bankruptcy fast enough. He can't get into any more wars. Well, oh, at this we point, now Toria. It's just how many points is Toria yeah. going to win by? That's tragic. See, that's the thing. Ashigara. There we go. There we go. Another one. Yep. Target-rich environment for sure, but another one. So much more wealth on the Ming side. It's that's. Aggressiveness is it's heartbreaking. And of course, oh, Benjamin, Benjamin. Benjamin was banking on the fact that he knew he had to time his economy to collapse just after the 30 oh. minutes. For the extra five minutes, bring it all crashing down. 40 seconds on the clock. He just keeps going. He, because he, he doesn't know that he won. So he yeah. just yeah. keeps declaring he's, he's wars. He's just cranking them yeah. out. Get ready to hit that pause button. We've got about 10 seconds left on the clock. Can he get just one more war out? before it finishes that 49% siege sword. is looking promising but he's only got five seconds will he get the piece out in time two one pause it oh he got it he got, he got it got nice it. <laughs> nice well poor Benjamin let's move on what you have to do in this <laughs> challenge is conquer or have a vassal or a subject non-tributary subject mark you own Rome and you have to do it as quickly as possible. If you're both in the same country, then the fastest person to get it wins. If you're in different countries, then the country that has the that is the furthest east wins. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go for Rome. Let's do this thing as we throw our players back into their respective chats. So, so interesting, they don't know what the other player is playing unless they're watching the stream. It's true, we didn't tell them then, so... We have an Ottoman player and we have a Ming, Ming player. player. Torio getting a little bit typecast here, almost. They're getting uh, getting used to playing Ming in this Life's situation. Breaking. Instantly allying, <laughs> who is that, Chagatai? No Chagatai, doubt to raise the yeah. opinion so he can buy maps. Maybe he's seen Flurry's strategy. Not that he couldn't come up with it by himself, of course. So far, it looks like Benjamin is embracing debt-based economics oh no he's actually had the money to do all this wow he's building a huge number of ships clearly planning to dominate the waves aragon aragonese alliance chain does include austria which is a very tough one to beat the papal states on the other hand only, only allied mantua. to mantua Benjamin. and uh i i think toria might regret not picking ottomans because papal states allied to ragusa oh that that would have been an easy attack early on very easy with the war goal under your control a war leader that would be and willing you don't to start negotiate with a truce even right no but you ragusa. are guaranteeing them so you'd have to unguarantee them which would give right. you a, give right. you a truce I think he's trying to not know CB the Pope. He's going to war with Albania and Venice. The Venetian trade league is non-existent, uh, fortunately for him. 
And then I guess he'll take Dalmatia, and Dalmatia will allow him to fabricate on Ancona. That's my theory. So maybe but he's waited a bit too long. The Papal States is now allied to England. England. But he does have time to wait out that Papal War. Oh, there we go. Yes, maps in Uzbek map. and no guy over for Toriel. And uh, he can now request to share maps from Timurids as well. Mm -hmm. We'll probably see him doing that soon. So he's going for the share map route. He's not getting a conquistador around the north. How far away is he from exploration ideas? Take a look at it. Not even started. Oh, Maybe. he's still a tech away. And he's he's nine minutes in already. Ouch. He can't afford to get one tech every nine minutes if he wants to see himself get there in 20. And there is the war with the Papal States calling in Mantua and England. So it'll be interesting to see if he can get his men across before an English fleet can show up and start causing problems. But of course, with his very galley heavy force, he could probably take on an English fleet straight into Rome. No hesitation there. A stack wipe in Umbria. We've seen a few of those so far in this challenge. And he spreads out. Just now all he has to do. Time. Yeah. Now all he has to do is keep uh, England out of the way. He has to make sure England isn't landing troops on his homeland while blockading the strait. He's bringing well. nine troops okay. down, and he's got a flagship with some extra guns as well as uh, a diamond. decent move speed. No, they're, they're being scared away again. Apparently they took one look at that Ottoman <laughs> force and were like, hell no, I don't want to be part of that. <laughs> and they're going home to England. <laughs> All right, and there's the papal fleet being destroyed by those Ottoman very galley heavy force, obviously extremely powerful, and the Pope has no ports. So there's a stack wipe. And we see a Hungary. Ooh, getting very close now. 18 minutes in. It'll all depend on what kind of final papal alliance chain we see. Because we looked early on, but then it was only Ragusa. <coughs> but that surely has changed. Uh, you, you would definitely think they'd have got at least one more. It's very uncommon to see an AI in at Europe. At least France. <laughs> <laughs> it would be Commonwealth. Oh, and there's Rome oh. earlier than I expected I guess England oh yeah wanting to peace out because they have rebels and they have occupied forts no 11 less. years ouch took him 11 years or 12 minutes depending on how you want to look at it yes a very good display from Benjamin but now but speed we doesn't matter our attention no no it's Be just all about Torio it's if all he... about Torio now oh, now he's in Austria there's the Austrian map share immediate map share from Austria. He's got sight on the med. He's within, the, he sees the sunny shores of We know of that doors. Venice is not allied to people. Oh state. yeah, good point. Is, Austria, no, is, Austria not? is not. Genoa? Uh, Genoa? Not not to be counted out, Genoa. Not nope. allied. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Savoy. Savoy, not nope. allied. We just need to see France and Aragon. Those are the remaining kingpins, but the lack of the Austrian alliance is big. Because Austria, they've got a huge force that they can cause real problems. Oh, oh we can see it all. Okay. Siege by a problem. What? <laughs> Provence is sieging Rome. What if Provence takes <laughs> Rome? <laughs> Provence probably allied to France because, oh, that'll be France at war with Savoy. Savoy allied to Rome? Uh, allied to the Pope, maybe? I, I, I think we're shaking Provence. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? Oh, it's just a, uh, a conquest war? They don't have an allies. It's just a conquest war on one of them. Probably the Pope declaring on Provence. Should we check? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely time. Oh, oh Castile. Castile. What if they just jump in and take Rome just as they siege it back? Then there would be a low garrison. It would be a very quick That would be siege. glorious. Go, no, go, Iberian <laughs> wedding. Time for Iberian. Oh, yeah, we need a reverse. Rome? We need a reverse Iberian wedding. Did Rebus he just delete his Rome. army? No. Yeah. What? Yeah, he deleted oh, his yeah. army. Doesn't because he can't declare war when he's exiled. Yeah, doesn't want to war yeah. for more. Now the back. war has been declared. Castile is in against Castile. him. But the thing is, unlike Korea, he's got the armies to take on Castile pretty much head on. There's the Merc up. Yeah. How many troops is that now? It's, uh, it's uh, still about 36k. No, no, I think he's, he's just raised a bunch oh, more. 56. <laughs> now he's up to... And he's going soon to 76. 76. Soon 78. This is one of the He's capped out on, on mercenaries. Oh, sorry, could maybe take oh, oh, he's being driven back there. His army shouldn't have arrived Battle in Pope. dribs and drabs like that. Battle Pope, indeed. It's going to stack oh, wipe oh, him, maybe. No. Oh, no, oh, he just held what? on. Oh, that maybe. could be a stack wipe, though. <laughs> oh, oh, he keeps just holding on. They oh. just won't die. <laughs> back and forth. Why forward, won't you die? <laughs> I mean, He's we are calling this Battle Pope, but this Ming mercenary, like, Those they don't even care about no, them. No, they're <laughs> just in it for the money. Oh, there's Castile. Quite he a needs big to force. Is he going to get? Yeah, oh, he's yeah, plenty yeah. of time. Don't worry. He's got him. 
looks like the Battle Pope is about to get stack wiped in Umbria. Many, many people <laughs> littering the ground of Umbria so far in this challenge. We've seen millions die. This is changing history. It absolutely, this, this, absolutely. this is why I love you for <laughs> Ming can invade Rome in 1462, as I guessed. Uh, yeah, Rome has yeah, fallen. Just about. So, yeah, he can't get the vassalage. What are we thinking here, chat? Is it the Umbria immediate declare? declare? I bet it's an Umbria immediate declare. He's only Actually, got nine minutes left. Wouldn't it make more sense to release nations and then f do a war declaration again? But he'd get black flagged. He'd have to do the walk. So get the vassal in Ragusa. Oh, which he's done. There's the vassal Ragusa. Yeah, vassal Ragusa, walk there. He oh. got both. You got Umbria and Ragusa. What if Savoy takes Rome? Yeah, Rondra? I know. It's, he's close. Oh, God. <laughs> They're moving towards the capital. He's declared on the Pope, but he can't get Rome. Oh. The Oh. oh! I guess you just helped them siege it now, yeah. and then yeah, yeah. Ah, there oh. they go. Not taking Rome, and there's Ming back on into the action. And now they're sieging it, and yeah. now it's just a matter of time. Yeah, and he's giving but the land to his subjects. Yes. Yeah, there he goes. Don't move those armies, or the Florentines <laughs> are going to steal your siege. For God's sake, Toriel. Florence is Don't ready. Don't move them. Not much could happen to threaten this. It's a dominant. A dominant position here. Really well played. Very well played. You know, textbook. Rome there has it fallen goes. again. Flipped <laughs> to Urbino's occupation and peace out. A new year's. And peace out. There it is. Should I Time. Pause? Yeah, go for it. Fantastic. Well, there you have it. Well, you made what I would call the sensible play. Benjamin playing as the Ottomans. You got the easy win on Rome, but sadly for you, unlike for Alderhill, the far out, the outside contender, you might say, did in fact bring home the bacon. Congratulations, Torior. That was a fine display. What's the challenge in this one? Well, you have to get as much gold income as humanly possible. All right, let's get this show on the road. Five, four, three, two, a one. Go for it. I've heard Ibadi is a strategy you can go for. Yeah, so an early war against Pate is very common. Let's see if anyone justifies. Yeah, there's a yep. Pate justification from Toriel. Not yet. From and then the other war is to, uh, the other strategy is to seize uh, yeah. Quillimain. Yeah, so you can and more then, quickly uh, get to against Mutapa. claim on Mutapa. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get defeated by N Mutapa. <laughs> Absolutely. Th that's the strategy the I've strat learned. <laughs> is you have to lose to Mutapa. So why is he allying Pate? Maybe just so they keep existing? He wants to do his war against Mutapa and then break the alliance and declare war on Pate? Maybe? Interesting. And just keeping them alive with the alliance until then? Toria has gone for the claim. There's the war with Mutapa for Benjamin. He's going to get it much earlier than Toria, which in the previous challenge Where we saw body. did make about a three... The going for Pate first does give you about 3 or 4% higher autonomy in mm. those gold provinces because of the delay. Can he turn this war, Benjamin? He did win a battle there. He's won a battle, but he could still get a stab hitting peace offer right now. He's winning battle after battle, though. He's, he's turning it around, but he doesn't have the manpower or troops to keep that war up for very long. And we are seeing Toria play the much safer route of yes, mm. building up the money uh, or an army and waiting. Yeah. Much slower, much, much slower. And Benjamin, really struggling to knock out those secondary participants in this war. It's just it's just not going his way today, unfortunately. Found an ally as well. And there's the stab hitting peace offer. Don't accept it. Ouch. <laughs> and there he is. He's at minus 99% war score. And Toria has raised the maintenance, eats... so we'll probably see the war here. So we can see if <laughs> Mutapa takes the 2-0 yeah. win. Yeah. But he, he's only just managing to not get pieced out, forced pieced out, because Zanzibar is blockaded. The rest of his country is all occupied. And now there's rebels. Oh, Ben. Poor Ben. He's he's charging south, just trying to get a couple of provinces back under his control, get a tiny bit of income back. But it looks like Ben is not going to be able to put out this challenge. I think that's a Matapan victory. Oh, and there's the rebels. Oh, but he just gets away. It was a close <laughs> oh, one. Oh, got to keep running. Oh. oh, no, not too far. No, he's okay. Oh. He can handle that. He can handle that. He's probably got the Miltech advantage. But now the rebels are catching him. Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, but he might be able to hold. Yes, he held against the rebels. Well done. All what right. What stats does that general have? Oh, Four oh. shock. Very nice. And four siege in 1452. Jesus. No. Okay. That and is good. the tip of the ice. Look, look at yeah. Look at this trait. 
Oh, oh, it's <laughs> shock damage down. That's so strong. There he goes, piecing out some of those secondary participants. But he's at risk of being pushed back to 100% war score if he can't get in and liberate some provinces quickly. He's still got Zanzibar sieged, fortunately for him. And he's going north. Oh, it's going to be a close battle. But he's got a god general. Let's see. Let's see. He's going in. He's outnumbered. He can do it. I believe. I mean, he's wearing clothes oh, on more of his body. That's not to protect even him. close. He's driven them out. They're colonizing another <laughs> province. Another shot of gold. <gasps> Have they got it? Have they got it? Torio. Torio. What do you think? Torio. I believe. Limp football. I believe. I believe. Chat, chat. Give us your energy. Oh, oh it hasn't rolled yet. No. What's the odds? 10%. Not bad. That, that, that's quite high. 10.6. It's like 50 50. Either it happens or it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor Ben. That was a. Was pretty bad. That Is he going to go bankrupt? Ending. He was so hyped as well. Oh. But that's good, you know. He, he's the, uh, you know, I, I, I know Ben a little bit. Positive. He's a very positive yeah. player. He'll be having a, I'm, I'm, I'm my guess, he'll be having a whale of a time even, even as he loses. Yeah. You know? And that's, that's how you got to be. <laughs> to kill or falling to another round of rebels. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's tragic. He is gonna go bankrupt fairly soon. He needs to kill those rebels before he goes bankrupt. He's spending money. No. And he's drip feeding into the no. rebels. No. Where's the god general? Yeah, exactly. I don't see a god. I anymore. guess he died. No, he's still alive, but he's not using him. Benjamin, it's all falling apart. Put the general in. Oh, God. He just, I have more disappointment for he you. He just managed to do it. I think okay. Ben's going to lose to Mutapan Rebels, which counts as a Mutapan win. But at least his general is alive. That's yeah. all that matters to me. He's only got three units. And I think he just went bankrupt. He's going to lose to Mutapan Rebels. Has Tor Torio upgraded the center of trade? Yeah, let's check Torio's mad strats. Has he got the right edicts? Has he got the centers of trade upgraded? Not he. Uh, it would only be in his capital. He'd like to have the edict right now because right. of the the cause. And Safala. So yep. Dev cost there. and yep. Autonomy oh, change. Yeah. That's what I'd. Uh, that's what I'd do. And then obviously you'll get the other ones inside. Yeah, what yeah, about yeah. those center of trade upgrades on Safala and the capital? Still level one yeah. there, but he hasn't deved it yet. Kill her meanwhile. Still level yeah. one. Mm, not no sure about money that. At all. Not sure about that. God, he's got fetishist zealots. I have to imagine he's AFK at this point. He's got minus three stability. And there he goes. Mutafa rises. Oh, dear. 11 ducats per month from gold here. Yeah. Meanwhile, we are languishing with 2.9. It's only gone up by 0. 0.3. 19 ducats. 19 ducats. Pretty How long? good. Seven, Seven and a half minutes. minutes. Rising fast. He's got more dip in hand. And he's declared a war. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's been declared on him. <laughs> it's just fish. Give it away. It's nice. not gold. And they're killing his navy. Well, that's a distraction he doesn't need. They can turn it around. They have allies. I want to see it. Mutapa. Mutapa. <laughs> Kilwa has no allies. He had two before, so I the guess truce. they abandoned Only another like year, yeah. it looks like, two Mombasa, years on that truce oh, with Kilwa. That's... Oh, oh, yeah, it sent them packing. Oh, and he's following. Oh, oh, charging stack down. Wipe 1K. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the turn. This is the turnabout. The Azuran turnabout. Little known. <laughs> the unexpected. We thought Mutapa was the hero <laughs> all along. <laughs> he was Azuran all along. Azuran was the hero we deserved. So now, I mean, six minutes, he's got to not have Kilwa be sieged <laughs> down during that time. Or I mean, it could this, all this fall apart. Oh, no! Dan! Driven back again. Safalan separatists drive. Uh, okay, the truce of Mutapa is running oh, out please. in one year. Mutapa! Oh, he's charging going. in. He's, he's hungry for blood. That's. I mean, is that going to go well for him? It's close. It's close. Has he got a morale advantage? He does. Slight. Oh, bad rolls. Oh, oh, driven back. One bad roll. Absolutely outrageous. We need Mutapa down here. <laughs> Mutapa, I mean, he could still join. If Toro gets all the gold provinces occupied at 30 minute mark, he'll lose all the gold income and Belsa gets, yeah, Belsa gets he, he really the win. Kill one. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. He's going to take it back now. God, that is... That was exciting, though. It's, I mean, he might it's still lose over. it. I oh. mean, if Mutapa comes in and sieges the oh, southern he, gold he, provinces. Wow. He's just walking around. Yeah, just go get <laughs> Safala. Get Safala. I believe. I believe. Oh. Asheran. He's just dodging no, like a madman. No, he's just man. going back and forth. Come on, Mutapa. Come on, Mutapa. Come on. No, Mutapa declared a different war. Oh. oh. Is Benjamin going to be able to... He is doing the annexation of Safala with two minutes left. I think he's too late, especially running speed three. Doesn't yeah. more exhaustion hurt goods produced? 
Uh, yeah, it no, does. He's losing loads of gold income to that war exhaustion right now. And he doesn't want to spend Diplo points reducing it, because that's what he should be deving his gold provinces with. Closing in on the final minute of the competition here. One ben, minute, seven I want seconds. To, I want to see the Mutapan declaration on Ben as he charges into these rebels and <laughs> loses men. <laughs> Mutapan tag right. teams with the rebels. Here he goes again. Yeah, yeah. he just declared. Go on, now. Now, do it. Oh. <laughs> Disappointment. Disappointed. He's out of the bankruptcy now, I think, as well. Yeah, so he's secured. Secured his place. 40 seconds remaining. It's going to be quite close on that Safalan integration, but I don't have high hopes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's taking out loans. He's he? showing off oh, his money. Oh, what's he doing? He's showing off. He's just taking out all the loans he can. He's taking the maximum amount out. What's he going to do with it? Uh, I'm curious. He's going to gift it to Matapa? That would be my pick. <laughs> we could take up to 147 loans here. 147 <laughs> loans. That's outrageous. <laughs> I'm not going to do math, but that's a lot of ducats. 147. He should 66. do it at the end just to style. <laughs> 153. What did what did uh, Ben just spend all that money on? Oh, he's got the world port. That's like 9,900. So he's say. trying to just pushing the dev into uh, kill what as much he's as he can. So time. And there we go. That is all we have time for. And there it is, let's do final scores on the doors. Seven ducats, respectable, considering he has yes, one gold producing so. province. 25. A very 26. good score, not in the top three. Fourth highest score, not beating his own previous highest score, I think, of 28, if I'm not much mistaken. All right, well, that was glorious. Thank you very much for joining us today, chat. It's been a great time. We saw some tap and glory, and I'm always happy.